Welcome back to the Rockstar Flipper YouTube channel outside of the Goodwill retail store. And just gonna make a quick stop here because a couple of my thrift shops, my favorite thrift shops were closed today, closed today and tomorrow. So uh, hopefully the retail store will have something that we can grab. I'm not too high on the expectations. This is the expensive one, but um, we'll see. I don't know, maybe they'll have something. There it is. That's what our little Goodwill retail looks like. Get you guys a shot of that. Today is uh, purple, 50% off day. So usually it tags of every color. And this week is 50% off purple. All right guys, so this employee was unloading all of these shoes and I grabbed them from her right as she got them. Look at that. Right off, I pulled them right out of her hand before she even could put them on the shelf. I'm sure they're real. Look at the lines, they line up. Look at the buckle, the buckle looks real. The underneath looks real. I'm pretty sure they're real. Like certain they are. They need a little bit of cleanup, but I think they're real. All right, guys, I just pulled out of uh, out of the Goodwill. Well, I haven't left yet, but I just rolled out of there. Got my receipt. Was so excited to get these shoes. I, I had two other shirts that I bought, men's shirts. I wasn't even that concerned about them. Whew, yeah, this is one of those days. And uh, I was excited to get them out of there. I went ahead and took the risk. I paid $10. Somebody priced these at $9.50. So I felt really, really comfortable buying these. And you guys know that I stay away from designer stuff for the most part. But the lettering looks really good. The lines look really good. The stitching is quality. I can feel it. The buckle looks really good. It's, it's heavy. It's like heavy material, you know, metal, whatever it is. Um, everything on this looks really high quality. The stamping underneath is there. It's made in Italy, which is right for these. Burberry is actually engraved into it. The numbers are all engraved. The heel is really like a thicker heel. You can see it. Everything about these looks really good. And uh, for 10 bucks, I'm going to feel comfortable putting them up on eBay. Um, I don't know how much yet. What, at least 100 150 I don't know whatever they're worth I'll look them up I didn't bother to look up comps I was only worried about whether they were real or not um, anyway so that is uh, that is the purchase and hopefully I'm gonna put these on Instagram some of you guys can confirm that these are real or not but they 100% feel look and appear to be real um, Kate has several pair not like these but like the lower flats and then some of the actual uh, thin heel ones um, that I bought her a couple years back and uh they they have all the same you know markings and indications that they are legitimate so um hopefully that's the case and i can make a really good flip on this you know make 80 to 100 dollars in profit at least so whew, good score for the day thank god i came in here and thank god there was a lot of people i caught the lady as she was unloading shoes and they were on there and i just told her i said i'll take those right now so there they are guys all right, guys, I'm back from that Goodwill retail store. That's just the one around the corner from me and uh, definitely the find of the week. Probably going to end up being the find of the month. Uh, the first two things I'll show you. I had these shirts before I even seen the shoes. So um, I paid $5 and $7 for these shirts. The first one, how cool is this shirt? And there were some comps actually on this. This is like a Hawaiian pool room, billiards, awesome button down, button up shirt. And it actually says... Hawaiian pool room, man's, I think this is a 2XL, that's ah, a 1XL, I paid five for this, they were comps 20, 24, cool shirt, awesome, gonna sell this immediately, um, and then the second one I got is a brand that I'm not all that familiar with, but this is the second time I've seen it, uh, they always have decent comps, so if you come across it, get it, it's kind of hard to read when you're in the store, but because I'd seen it once before, I knew to look for it, um, let me see if I can get this really good on the camera, I doubt I can, you guys see that? It's really hard. It's like a, a cursive Italian font of a uh, of a brand. Anyways, it is um, it's uh, Luciano Visconti. I think that's how you say it. Visconti. It's L U C H I A N A or I A N O I A N O. It's Luciano Visconti. So um, you can look that brand up. I'll put it down in the uh, description box or something. But um, they make dress shirts like this. Nice button downs. Um, they've got, of course, the cuff-linked sleeves. Very nice. I did pay seven for this. 
But um, all the comps were in the mid 20s to 30, so I don't see a problem getting 25 to 30 for it. So those two, uh, you know, I paid what seven and five. I paid 12, and probably gonna sell them for I don't know, say 20 and 25 is 45 less fees and shipping, about 35. So not a bad, you know, 20, 25 dollars in profit. Only took me about 10 minutes to go through the men's um, shirts, but this is when I saw the employee, um, you know, coming over to kind of uh, unload the new, you know, they roll those carts out with the shoes and uh, these two little beauties right there, staring right back. So uh, those of you that are not familiar, there it is. Bottoms, show you guys all the different angles. They were 10 bucks um, and it's just one of those things you get a feeling about. So there is the lines. Obviously, they're dirty. They're used. They're not in the best condition, but they're pretty good. Um, but this is where, you you know, that talk I had with, with Stephanie, you could tell the lines. Not bad. And then the buckle is heavy. Like, they're, they're good weight. It's a good wedge. Good design. Everything is right. The lettering is right. The lettering on the bottom is right and it's even indented it's not like it's stamped on there like a cheap chinese version this is actually built into the shoe um same deal here so everything about it right um and uh just so everyone knows they're not going on ebay and the reason is i already have a direct buyer on them um i'm not going to tell you who it is uh they are very active here on my youtube and instagram but the other reason that I would prefer to sell them directly like I am as opposed to eBay is because even if something is real and you put it on eBay, if somebody doubts you for any reason, they can go on there and do like a, oh, copyright claim, they're not real, and then all of a sudden um, you got a problem. So I would rather just sell these directly. Somebody I know here on my channel that I, I somewhat trust pretty well, so um, there shouldn't be a problem. And I told them if they get them and they want to authenticate them, fine, if they come back, that they're not authentic, which I highly doubt these are really good. Um, and of course I'll honor them and, and take them back, but I don't imagine that that is going to be a problem because these are the real, the real deal. So the two scores for today were obviously the Luciano Visconti shirt and these Burberry fancy wedge sandal heel looking things. So there they are. There's the two scores from Rockstar. Make sure you like this video, give it a big thumbs up because once in a while, even I get to score. Not often, but it happens. So make sure you keep your eyes out. If you think something looks good, pick it up and uh, happy hunting to everyone. Thanks for checking out the video. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Have a great afternoon, great evening and uh, have an enjoyable 4th of July. I will be here tomorrow with one video at least tomorrow on the 4th. So I'll see you then.